So it's been a little while since I did one of these cycling time lapses and I thought I had a good reason to uh, to post one today and that's because I recently found out that the naval, and I'm going somewhere with this, the um, uh, British naval vessel, the RFA Argus, was docked in Plymouth, which is my hometown. And I recall seeing it, I briefly was uh, walking along the seafront a couple of weeks ago in Plymouth and I saw what I thought was the RFA Argus. and. I thought, well, I checked the website and lo and behold, it was definitely it. So I thought I'm going to make a time lapse video of me cycling to the seafront to get a good look at the RFA Argus and show it to my to my viewers. And there is a good reason for this. But first of all, there it is not. It was not it it, it gone. It had gone. It was all oh, it was on, it was on the seafront. See where there's that kind of ship? It's the big ship. It was there. And now it is not which is a real shame. So this video was a complete waste of everyone's time, but hey, it's a cycling video. But there is a reason I wanted to show you guys the RFA Argus. One of the ways in which my YouTube channel, my main channel, I should say, was placed onto the Kerbal Space Program map was because I was the first person that I know of to post a Duna SSTO post patch, uh, post 1.0 update. Basically, before the 1.0 update or the 0.9 update, I can't remember, it was years ago, SSTOs just completely broke. Before that update, everyone built SSTOs by doing what we call air hogging, where you place loads of intakes and the jet engines are just super overpowered. And all that broke, and everyone thought SSTOs were just impossible to take beyond low Kerbin orbit. And very slowly, people started making Minmus SSTOs, then Mun orbit, then Mun landing, and eventually I was one of the first to get a Juna SSTO. And that was my claim to fame, and I named it after the RFA Argus because I remember when I was on holiday in Falmouth, uh, when I was maybe like 12 or something, I don't know, uh, the Argus was there, docked. I remember it blowing my mind how like big and intimidating and amazing this sea vehicle was, and wow, isn't that incredible? And I, I kind of named my SSTO after that because I remember having my mind, it was blown when I saw this big vessel uh, docked in a harbour that I was walking along. So it was huge. I'd, I'd never seen anything like it. And that's kind of why I named the Argus the Argus. And this, maybe one day I'll try and get it on video. So you can show you guys. This video has ended long ago. I don't know what's on screen now. Maybe I've put a picture of the, the actual ship I was planning on having this video on screen. I don't know. I uh, just thought I'd share this incredibly disappointing journey with everyone. Thank you for watching. And also the RFA Argus, before it became the Argus, was called the Contender Bezant. And that's why some of my SSTs are also called the Bezant when they're derived from the Argus design because, you know, because I think I'm like a genius and really I'm, I'm an idiot. So that, that was my story.